Greetings and welcome to Intech. I'm Bill Jewell and this is the latest of the Intech i-series or informational series videos. I want to talk today a little bit about your airlock rotor that's in your machine. I want to show you some parts in here. This is a Force 2 airlock rotor that's built up complete and is ready to be put into the machine. This slot right here is where, in effect, a screwdriver blade from the transmission goes in and turns it. So there is no permanent connection between the airlock shaft and the transmission. It's just the, uh, the blade that goes in there that turns the whole thing. This airlock, by the way you see the seals installed, will turn this direction like this. The seals in our machines always drag the direction of rotation and are installed pointing backwards. You'll notice the bolts that hold them in here. These bolts, when you put your new seals in your airlock, use a 7 16 wrench here and here. Take the old seals out, put the new ones in, tighten your bolts down to only 40 inch pounds. That's just barely snugged up. It's kind of hard to see, but these are little nylon lock nut type uh, nuts on here, so they don't have to be squished down really tight. If you squish it too tight, it'll pull a small gap right there and right in here on the seal, and it will not seal up quite correctly. You notice the welded on rotors here, quite strong. A little bit on the other side. The bearing goes here and here on the airlock, and then it's going to rotate this direction right here. Have a great day.